I don't feel that I'm eccentric. It's not a conscious thing. It has happened organically around me. This is the way I am. The world Sue lives in is unique. She has a style all of her own, her art and her fashion totally intertwined. At 73, she's the youngest of the six women, an American who's lived here for nearly 30 years. Growing old is a privilege and it's an adventure. Everybody should be living in color. You know what I really hate? I hate beige. Beige. It's the color of death. And it just leeches all the life out of you. And my motto is, don't wear beige, it might kill you. Good morning, welcome to Dish of the Day. Now, if you've been off the planet for a while and you're not aware of slim cuisine, we've got the queen with us today. The queen of slim cuisine, Sue Kreitzman. Nice to have you back. I think it's nice to be the dish of the day. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Oh, nice one. Now, everything yeah. that Sue I've cooks is I've wrote cookbooks for a living and travelled around the world um, the, the Times called me the queen of low-fat cookery. I was very well known. And on my 27th book, I was up at my desk correcting the proofs. And my hand picked up one of the markers, and I, I drew a mermaid on a piece of paper. It was really nice. It had that folk art quality that I absolutely love. That was the last book. I didn't know that was going to be the last cookbook I ever wrote. I got absolutely obsessed with drawing. Suddenly, I was some sort of weird artist. Okay, look, John. Like that. Yeah. But in the meantime, I want to give her a bolt of lightning. I want to give her a bolt of lightning. Then we'll start putting stuff in the front. My agent thought I had lost my mind. Uh, maybe I had lost my mind. My family were absolutely gobsmacked. The whole art thing happened maybe 15 years ago. I've sort of lost track because it has absolutely filled my existence. So I make art and I curate art shows. It's very, very wonderful and satisfying. The way I dress releases me from the tyranny of fashion. It's so easy to get dressed in the morning because I put on a black dress and then I choose one of these things. I don't have to worry, is it in style? Is it not in style? Is it too long? Did I get too fat, too thin? They're all very, very easy to wear. I choose a jacket. I choose a piece of jewelry. I put on my faithful clogs and I'm ready to go. I collect fabrics everywhere I go when I travel. I go to flea markets all the time. I go to charity shops. And when I leave the house, I can't leave my art behind. I have to have it on my back. I would like not to be, oh, I'm gonna say something really stupid now. I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I don't wanna to be too over the top. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I am over the top, but what I mean is I like to keep a certain amount of elegance. Do I succeed? I don't know. That's a matter of opinion. I want to just miss that point where I actually look like a clown. When women of a certain age don't dress in a conventional or expected way, heads do turn. People notice when someone like Sue walks down the street. I adore it. I like sashaying it out into the street. And people are always taking my picture when I go out in the street, which is terrific. Oh, look at that old lady. She looks so interesting.